In this T's math video, we're going to look at a percentage word problem that covers percent increase or decrease. And to do that, we're going to get an example from my infinite QBank. You can generate an infinite number of questions for both T's and med dosage. But for this video, we mentioned T's, M.1.6 percentage word problems. And notice there's several topics available for M.1.6, these percentage word problems. But I mentioned percent increase and decrease. Let's generate those questions. And every time you do this, you get 10 fresh questions. And I tell you what, the one that I want to cover here is number three. Now, in this example, we have a high temperature for today. And for yesterday, we're also provided with its high temperature. And we want to find the percent D decrease. This is not a percent increase problem. And that's because of the way this problem is worded. The high temperature today is 66. Yesterday, it was 95. So from yesterday to today, this temperature did decrease. Yesterday, it was 95. Today, it was 66. That's why we're trying to find a percent decrease in this particular problem. Now, regardless of whether you're trying to find a percent increase or decrease problem, you always want to take the difference between the values, divide that by the original. You can also think of the original as being the older value. Now, this is a fraction. When we divide that, we're converting it to a decimal, but we need a percent, which is why I've tacked on this multiplying by 100 here. More on that in a second. So taking that difference, that means we want to subtract. Basically, what you're finding here is how much that temperature changed from yesterday to today. But the original here is what really gets students because they get these two values mixed up. The original is not always going to be the second value. The original might be the first value. It depends on how it's worded, which is why I mentioned think about it in terms of being the older value. Yesterday is the older value. Yesterday it was 95 degrees. That's why this original value, the original temperature is 95. So in our next step, the 29, that represents a 29 degree difference. We're dividing that by the original. Grab your calculator for this. It'll be approximately this decimal value. And I'm still tacking on this times 100. But all that times 100 really means is that you're going to take this decimal and you're going to convert it to a percent. Some of you may move your decimal two places to the right, which is the same thing as multiplying by 100. Either way, you'll get somewhere around 30.526%, but taking note of the instructions, round to the nearest percent if necessary. So this zero will bump up to a one because the five to the right tells it to go up. So our percent decrease is around 31%. And for this answer, 31%, let's make sure we include that percent symbol. Checking our answer, we can see that it's correct. Explanation, very similar to what I just explained to you, but to master this topic, just like any of these topics for the math portion of the T's or med dosage, you need to practice a bunch of problems. And that's exactly what this infinite Q bank can do for you. Try it out for free over at app.bcraftmath.com. Thanks for watching and take care.